Welcome to not just another episode, but season two of Sailing Panda. After sailing over 7,500 miles, two continents, one ocean, and amongst icebergs in Greenland, we stopped in the Hamble River for some much needed repairs and upgrades. If you haven't already, watch our last video to get up to date on those upgrades. We enjoyed our time at the dock with all the luxuries it provides, but it was time to set off. Our friends Mike and Esta, along with Phil and Roxy from Sailing Sonder, were here to help with our lines. Very bittersweet saying goodbye to the neighborhood with all the memories we made here. Our journey's first stop was at the fuel dock, where we loaded up on diesel and petrol for our outboard. For those Americans referencing that fuel price, that's about $6.72 a gallon for diesel and $8.62 a gallon for gasoline. Now with a final wave and farewell to our friends, we point Panda Boat down the Hamble River to sail onto the Solent and begin to really explore this area. Stay tuned on a YouTube channel near you. Out in the Solent, about to set up some sail. But we got out of the Hamble River just fine, just uh, motored out, took our time, enjoyed sightseeing, put away fenders and lines and all that. And now we're just getting Panda back in sailing mode. So we'll just rig up uh, the mainsail and the head sail, and I think we can do a, a nice little sail through the Solent. so not prepared for sailing we're just like kind of got out here and we're like yeah let's put some sail up and like as soon as we heeled over into the wind like we heard all this stuff fall in the cabin we have like all these like little tea lights that have fallen down here our little tardigrade oh the basket caught a tea light that's minor casualties so far feels so great to sail again this is awesome ground there. Found the that our depth gauge works. Wow, I'm proud of us. Yeah. Uh, I was looking a little sketch yeah. for a hot minute. <laughs> it's really shallow, but there's this like one deep area that we got right in. And we almost we almost gave up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. done. Yeah. Great. I felt like a good holding. And we have like a reputable local source. That said, it's really thick mud, so we know that the holding here is, is superb. Yeah. So we have a blow coming through later in the week, so we'll have to feel out if we're ready to take on that in this anchorage or move on to something else. There's a nice gale that's blowing through at the moment, so we're going to be hunkered down inside our boat for the next three or four days. Uh, and the winds are picking up and just thought we'd kind of take a look around. We hooked onto a mooring here in this creek uh, instead of our anchor, which is going to be a bit more secure. Um, but the mooring is pretty close to land, so it's a little, I wouldn't say unnerving, but you can see here we have land that's like just right here. Uh, it's still pretty deep though. Right now we're right at low tide. Um, so we have about one meter. Uh, yeah, the wind's been kind of on and off. Uh, it comes in gusts. Sometimes we get up to like 35, and then right now we're down to like 20, and it's pretty calm. So, and tonight it's supposed to be like 40, gusts up to 50. So that should be really something weird. There's like no other boats in here. Well, there's like one other sailboat up on a mooring ball in the river. Um, Otherwise, all the local boats, they went back to their marinas. So we have the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> With that gnarly Atlantic storm finally passed, it gifted us this beautiful weather to explore the area. We really like the anchorage here in Newtown Creek, not just for its protection, but its proximity to beautiful hiking trails. Time to launch Duchess and head for the shore where we can drag her up on the beach. Here, you can see we installed these nifty little dinghy wheels, and they are proving to be quite useful, especially here with high tides. 
Just a short hike from the beach, we found a sign for one of the many trails in the area, though they turned out to be really, really muddy. It's a new level of mud for England. I mean, I think people might have walked out of their shoes. Look how much mud I have on my shoe. Oh no, Panda. Oh, you do just want to walk out of your shoe. Oh, look at this meadow though. Holy cow, you see what's behind us? Right next to this really thorny bush? Why can't we walk on that? I don't know. Back in Duchess, we took to the water to explore the wildlife of Newtown Creek. Just look at this cute seal checking us out. He was freaking adorable. And the multitude of birds here was stunning. They were just everywhere. We have possibly the shortest sail we've ever done today. It's two nautical miles. We're sailing across the Solent to a new anchorage. It is an awesome day to be sailing. It's like 15 knots of breeze, just super pleasant out. We had storms for like the last week, but they finally calmed down. We're coming in the channel. This is the Bewley River. It's starting to get shallow, like 2.7 meters below the keel. I always get nervous. Like I know it's not a big deal trying to ground here, but I still don't like it. Yeah, we're just creeping along at like just two knots real slow. Plus, this is a great time to advertise that we are charging our battery bank using our engine, which is a first. So even like in situations like this, we're no rush to like, can, you know, cut off the engine, conserve fuel like we usually were. It's gone down. And a little welcome sign. Welcome to the Bewley River, it says. And please call VHF channel 8 Bewley River Radio 5 knots maximum minimum watch. All right, we've dropped anchor. We are holding in reverse. All right, well, let's get the snubber on. All right, snubbing. Snubber, snubber, snubby. Snubbity dubbity. Putting our black ball out. It's to signal to other boaters that we are anchored. Nonetheless, we're gonna be really proper because, well. We're in the middle of the channel. Ah, it is finally calm. There's almost no wind, which we haven't had a no wind day in at least a week. It's so far, I mean, it's gorgeous. Uh, just about low tide, so we're seeing all the mud on the banks, um, which is cool because all the, the birds come out and they're eating all the stuff that, that was under, ocean, under the water. Okay, it stays like this that makes it worth it days where the wind was blowing. Yeah. I think this makes up for it, right? Right. We feel like you're really in a nature preserve because it's just constant chatter of wildlife. I think this is as most birds as I've seen in one area. Yeah, definitely. This is like a, a wildlife sanctuary and, and it's totally set up for bird watching. They have these bird hides, they have these pathways that are fully covered uh, by bushes so you can't like scare the birds. It's incredible what a wildlife refuge can do and how many like different species of birds there are here. Like we're not bird experts so we couldn't speak to all the birds, but it's 
from from us being just nature enjoyers, it's obvious the number of species of birds that are here. I guess it's uh, there's a lot of migratory birds here, so they they stop here on their migratory paths from I guess north to south, coming and going. It's like a airport of birds. There's been uh, Brent geese, which are Arctic geese from Russia, I believe and these Canadian geese actually. I didn't expect to see those. We were walking uh, down the path and we heard the distinctive sound of a reed warbler because we read about them having this um, boinking sound like a pig almost. So all of a sudden you walk by and I was like, I can't do a reed warbler. But it was really cool to identify them. I can see how bird watching could be really a, a great pastime. <laughs> Retake that panda. We are having a great sail in the Solon today. We're moving anchorages from Bewley, the River Bewley, and we're gonna go see the needles. And that's, oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> and that just uh, kind of the exit of the Solent here. Nice downwind sail. So we're flying Starfire, which we haven't flown in a while. She's a little bit musty because she's been in the V berth in the moisture for the last uh, three months. So it's good to get her out in the sun, get her all dry. And we get to try a couple new things. One is we have a new spinnaker tack line. We got the tack way out on what's called the crane at the end of the mast. And then two is we're trying a new spinnaker tack line. So this is the tack line. Have it routed through this block. And then it goes all the way back to the cockpit. And so at the cockpit, we can make adjustments. And I can just pull it in or I can let it out. It's like that thing off of Inception. <laughs> There's some weird bird sounds here. Check this out. Not exactly Jurassic Park, but a cute amusement park at the Needles. Turns out this is also home to the first wireless signal transmission by Mr. Marconi in 1897, thus beginning a revolution in communication, of which we all enjoy today, over a century later. Hi. It's like they're really excited to see us. Okay, the cows of the needles are the most interesting thing about the needles. <laughs> These cows are like the most active and playful cows I've ever seen. When I've never had like a cow even care about like us when we walk by, these guys are like looking at us and they're playing around. They're like playing each other. This is, um, this is kind of funny. So it's, it just seems like a little strange to launch rockets off the side of a hill. It seems like extra complex to build these these rocket like bunker structures all on the side of a hill. Just yeah, it kind of blows my mind. Um, it sounds like it wasn't too successful. It only lasted like a few years, and I don't even know if they launched any from here exactly. It's pretty interesting as far as like coastal dis coastal defense for England. <laughs> now enough of the ground exploration, let's get our eyes in the sky and see what the needles are all about. Cue epic drone montage. Uh, this is like an absolute highlight of I think our time in the Solon. Like I really like this stuff because you see old military things, you see like the rocket things, which is kind of neat. You see the lookout uh, towers for like the coastal defense. So yeah, the needles, this has been a great experience. Never will forget this here in the Solon. This is awesome. 
and the sound. The sound is really roaring against this pebbly beach. The views up here are definitely worth any hike up here. Loved it. Thanks so much for watching this episode. If you want to support us, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to support us even further, consider becoming a Patreon member. Much love from Panda. It's so sticky. That's what she said. <laughs> Why am I so sticky? <laughs> this episode is brought to you by the mud of England. We're stuck on you. Should be its slogan. <laughs> I like no fun. <laughs> no dog fouling. <laughs> Don't foul your dog. They do move in herds. The birds just ch chattering, chattering away. <laughs> you just walk off the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> she touches wood. I hope everyone enjoyed that cinematography. Cin cinematography? I I hope everyone enjoyed that cinematography. That was... Still not right. What is it? Cinematography. I hope everyone enjoyed that cinematography. <laughs> and our drone in Duchess.